Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what is in this package, but as per usual, we're gonna find out together. Thanks so much to whoever sent this. If it's something I can link, I will absolutely, 100%, you know the drill, link it right down in the description so that you guys can check it out if you want to. Uh, those links uh, do help my channel when you use them, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. It's. I think maybe it's time to. Uh, I think maybe it's time to sharpen this. Hey, we got an artisan color. It's been a while. I've had a couple of uh, CJRBs, but not anything from Artisan Cutlery for a bit. I know they're the same company, right? But um, this is the premium end for the company, right? The CJRB generally does the less expensive stuff. An artisan generally does the more expensive stuff. Oh, okay. But sometimes we have some in-between stuff. This is in-between in-between. Uh, we have an AR RPM 9 artisan cutlery knife, a larger one, and it has a titanium uh, pocket clip. Is it? Yeah, I think it, maybe it's, maybe it's aluminum. I'm not really sure. Um, pretty big blade. Nice big uh, sort of harpoon blade. At first I thought, you know, I have no idea what price point this is going to be in. I'm going to guess it's not going to be horribly expensive. I'm not sure. Interesting <laughs> lock in position back here for the pinky. Initially, and you normally don't see that. You normally see the primary lock in positions up here. So this has a good choke up zone. And then back here, the standard grip has a secondary lock-in position for the pinky, which does work. This is pretty, you know, not quite like Boker Kalashnikov, you know, there, where it's not a suggestion where you put your fingers. It is a command, right? This is close to that because we have some very specific spots where they're like this. If you're going to hold it here, it's not like your pinky has an option to go anywhere else. No, it, they want it here. But on the plus side, you are definitely locked in, choked up. I wouldn't say it's any more or less comfortable, but you can choke up, so that's nice. The benefit here is that the handle is long enough to where you do have some options. Um, very smooth action. I think some of that is due to the fact that the blade is actually fairly heavy. Uh, very easy to manipulate and reverse flick. Action is good. A little bit of lock stick out of the box here, which isn't the first time that I've experienced that with Artisan, but... You know, it's something that you experience with a lot of companies. It could be that I flipped this a hundred times and the lock stick goes away completely, but the action's nice. Pretty big blade, not a super thick blade. We have full liners, like lipped, not nested, contoured G10 scales. Yeah, this has got a little bit of a swoopy doopy underneath here, but it is flat and it is milled and it's nicely knocked down. A little dollar sign there. I wonder who the designer is. Does it say RPM 9? It does not say. I don't know what that means. The lanyard thing is completely out of the way. It's part of the backspacer, so that's nice. No internal milling for the um, steel scales. I have no idea if this is available or not. I want to weigh it because it, it's pretty big. I'm going to guess this weighs 5 ounces. Weighs 6 ounces. <laughs> pretty heavy. Where's the balance? This might have decent, might be okay because the blade is so big. Yeah, yeah, right behind the pivot. So and maybe that's why it doesn't feel quite that heavy, right? Can you, no, you can't front flip it. Centering's good. Centering's spot on. No detent lash or anything like that. Yeah, okay. Let's measure it real quick. Get some quick specs here. All right, overall length. And this, by the way, I didn't say right here. The <laughs> the 1860p, I'm sure it's actually got a name. It'll be linked in the description um, so you guys can check down there if you want to. It's almost nine inches. No, it is. It's nine, This is absolutely, it's all of nine inches. Blade length is 3.85. Cutting edge is 3. Yeah. Is it? Let's see, right here. It's 3.75. 3.75 inches of cutting edge. Absolutely. The big knife. 
Just do a couple of size comparisons so you guys can see here real quick before I end. Uh, Ontario Rat 1, 80, 20.5. Pair of three, Benchmade Griptilian, right? Okay. Or in this case, the Ritter Hogue. Alrighty. Pretty cool. Interesting. I was expecting something, you know, I, I just, just the weight of it and the, the artisan color box, I thought, uh, it's going to be more expensive. I should have known, though. Don't they send the more premium artisans in the aluminum boxes? Yeah, I think that's right. CJRB and Artisan Cutlery have almost, they're like the same company, and it used to be that Artisan Cutlery exclusively made the premium stuff while CJRB exclusively made the budget stuff. But now we get premium, periodically we do get premium CJRBs alongside the budget CJRBs. We also get premium artisans alongside budget artisans. I would be very happy to find out that this comes in under $75. We'll see. By the time you're watching this video, I will already know because I will already have linked it for you to discover that for yourselves. Thank you so much to Artisan Cutlery slash, slash CJRB for sending this in for me to take a look. I will do the full comprehensive review of this knife a few weeks from now. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.